How exactly does breathing lower our blood pressure? The answer is there are two mechanisms by which this works. One of them is probably going to make sense to you and the other one might be new, so stick around. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a doctor of chiropractic for over 26 years. I give natural healthcare solutions to most problems that people come in and are suffering with. And most of the research supports all these things that I'm going to say in this video. So I will put some research down in the links down below if you want to learn more about the mechanisms by which breathing lowers our blood pressure. So let's cover number one. Number one is when you inhale and exhale and you breathe deep and you breathe slow and you just relax and let it go, what happens is if you do it correctly in the way I'm going to show you here in this video, your body will start to produce more nitric oxide. Now nitric oxide is a gas that is made inside our vessels that will kind of dilate our blood vessels or at least relax the blood vessels enough so that they're more pliable. And so when our heart beats and pushes blood through our arteries, if the arteries are stiff, there's going to be more pressure in the arteries. But if our arteries are more pliable or can actually dilate, then the pressure will go down. And that is the first mechanism by which deep breathing, the way I'm going to show you, is going to help blood pressure. Now, if you were to do this multiple times per day, your body is basically getting, it's like a, a jolt of relaxation. It's like rela free relaxation. Imagine if you were going to go into a hospital and they gave you an IV drip of relaxation. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Well, that's exactly what deep breathing does. So the long range goal is you're going to do deep breathing once a day forever for your blood pressure, but if you find it beneficial to do it multiple times to, uh, per day, you can certainly do so. So the first mechanism is breathe, deep breathing will increase nitric oxide levels within our blood vessels. And again, that dilates and relaxes the blood vessels, lowering blood pressure. The second way that deep breathing lowers blood pressure is if you do it correctly, it will stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system. Now our nervous system consists of our brain, our spinal cord, and the peripheral nerves. And there are nerves that essentially tend to stimulate our body and nerves that tend to relax our body. That's the easiest way to think about it. And the parasympathetic nervous system is the part of the nervous system that causes a relaxation. So blood vessel stiffness, blood vessel diameter, blood vessel pliability is sensitive to our nervous system and by doing deep breathing exercises we can stimulate our nervous system to relax the blood vessels, allow them to become more pliable and this relaxation lowers the blood pressure. So now let's cover exactly how to do it and the truth of the matter is there is not just one way to do it. This is the way that I teach my patients how to do it and I have found by teaching various different methods on how to do deep breathing that this is the method that seems to work the best for the majority of people but if there's another method that seems to work better for you certainly let me know in the comments section. There is probably one method that your brain and nervous system and body is going to jive with. So this breathing method that I'm about to show you works for the majority of people that I have trained in it. And that's simply why I teach this method because if I get a hundred people I'm going to say 95 of, of those hundred are going to like this method. Where if I teach another method, let's say box breathing or something like that, maybe 70% out of 100 might actually like that type of uh, breathing method. So let's go over it. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to breathe in through your nose, 
out through your mouth. And when you inhale, you're going to start at the belly, you're going to expand the belly, you're going to expand your lower rib cage, you're going to breathe in through your chest, you're going to pull your shoulders back, you're going to breathe as deeply as humanly possible as if you were going to dive into a pool of water and you were going to stay underneath water for a long period of time. You are going to inhale as deeply as humanly possible until you fill up your entire belly and fill up your entire lungs. Once you've inhaled that deeply through the nose, you will just relax the body, let it go, let your body just kind of fall down and relax into a relaxed position and just exhale naturally through the mouth. You're not going to time it. You're not going to try to do it for a particular amount of seconds. You're going to do it as deeply as you can and you're going to do it slowly. So it looks like this. Now it took a long time to inhale my lungs because I've been doing this a long time. Some people, if they have lung conditions or they're smokers or they've had chronic disease in their life, they may not be able to breathe as deeply, but you want to breathe as deeply as your body will allow, as, as deeply as your lungs will allow. So you inhale as deeply as you can. You exhale, and you saw when I did that, I just kind of let my body just become real limp and relaxed. You do this, you breathe deep, you breathe slow, and then you just let it go. This is not hyperventilating. So you do this once a day. Now, how many deep breaths should you do? The answer is 30. 30 is a good amount to do because it allows enough time for your body to adapt and relax to the breathing. If you only do three deep breaths, it just isn't enough to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system and develop nitric oxide. Anything over 30 might be better. However, you, you have to go back to work. You have other things to do. So it takes about five minutes to do this deep breathing at 30 breaths per per session that is what i recommend everyone deserves five minutes of relaxation no matter how stressed your life is you can find five minutes to do deep breathing if possible you could do it more often it's an interesting phenomenon that we have healthy teeth because we take care of our teeth twice a day. Why not take care of our parasympathetic nervous system and stimulate nitric oxide production in our body twice a day? Makes total sense to improve your health. Lower blood pressure, enhanced heart health, protect your arteries, improve your energy, improve your bone health, help migraines, chronic pain, and depression, reduce artery stiffness, and better sleep. These are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the benefits of magnesium. The soil sucks, we don't eat enough organic vegetables, and that is why it's so hard to get enough magnesium in our diet. Now the supplements that I take are from the video sponsor, Magnesium Breakthrough, and they have a great product that has seven different types of magnesium in it, all listed right here. Now when you get all these major forms of magnesium, then your body really starts to improve and that is when the magic happens. I take two tablets at nighttime, it gives me 500 milligrams of magnesium per day and it really helps me sleep like a baby. There will be a discount code and the link for this type of magnesium down in the description.